It's finally here. The first look we've had at Enlisted's all new tech trees and progression system. If you've played War Thunder, you're definitely going to be familiar with this already, but this video will be a quick yet complete explanation of how this tech tree works for all of you, as it can be confusing for many. There are a number of bugs on this test server too, but I won't go into those as they'll all be fixed by the time the merge actually happens and aren't really relevant information for you guys. So if I don't mention something you think that should be mentioned, it's probably a bug. Well, here it is. You can change which tech tree you're looking at by clicking up here on the top four icons thing to represent each of the different nations. Currently we're on the US, British, Western Allies combined tech tree, but then there's the Soviets, there's the Germans and the Japanese. When enlisted adds new factions, they'll all be listed also up here. But on the tech tree itself, you can see each row is for a different class of weapons. The top row is for rifles, second row is for snipers, third is for SMGs and assault weapons, fourth is for machine guns, fifth is for heavy weapons in general, so that includes ATRs, mortars, bazookas, piats, flamethrowers, whatever you want. Below that is for tanks, after that is the planes, and then lastly it's premium squads. But also note that many premium squads aren't actually listed here. This implies that they're going to remove a number of them. So if you don't see a specific premium squad for the faction listed on the tech tree that you would have wanted, I would recommend going to get it in the next few weeks, because we assume the merge is going to happen, you know, in that kind of time frame, maybe in a month or so. I'm also going to release a video explaining all the small and quick things that you should do before the big campaign merge in this update which will include this and amongst other things that you should buy before they get removed. Over on the left though you will see details for the weapon or aircraft you clicked on at a glance but what you can do is click more detailed and you get a full set of attributes for said plane or gun and you can also spin out the weapon and zoom in and zoom out and do whatever you want to have a look at the thing. It should also include statistics at all upgrade levels in the future here not just at random starter level so bear that in mind but if you want to go and have a look at that thing now you can go to the shop tab and then have a look at the weaponry click on whatever you you want M50 Rising for example and then you can also okay that doesn't work the point is supposed to be that normally you'll be able to see what upgrades are what and what stats are for each upgrade on over here, but they'll add that at some point during the merge, I'm sure of it. Going back to the tech tree now, if a box has this icon in the corner of it to the top right, this means it's a folder. You can click on that weapon or vehicle and it will open everything that's in that folder for you. As in, optional extras you can grind to allow you for more free reign to unlock what you want, not stuff you're forced to get. In this example, the M3 Stuart with Flamethrower as opposed to the M3 Stuart. Similarly, if you see this team-like icon in the bottom right corner, this means you will get a squad with that tank, plane, or weapon. And after you click on the initial tech itself, there will be a tab for squad at the top here, where you can see the details of the squad that you'll be unlocking with this tech. Everything you have already unlocked will have a background of a lighter blue color. Look at the Browning M1919A6 or the Thompson M2821 box magazine over here. But that which you haven't got will have a darker blue background. Look at the M2 Mortar down here. To start researching something though, click on something you want, whatever tech you want and go to the bottom and click start research. You will notice that the name of the thing goes bright orange and there's also like some animations of some flames and sparks behind the thing. So that's how you know that's what you're grinding for right now. You can only research one tech at once per faction and you can swap tech researching at any time. For example, if I instead wanted to go for the M4A3105 Sherman, I could just click on start research here. It would now make that gold and this animation color at the background and then M2 Mortar would be grayed out again. But to actually get points towards unlocking something, Thing, you need research points, which are listed at the top here with this little icon, or you can see how many research points you need to unlock the item that is there. You get these research points from playing any normal battle with any equipment at all for that faction, and you can choose to spend your research points to accelerate your research by clicking on this thing and then moving up the slider. And there should be a button down here. I have no research points because it's kind of glitched, but normally that's what you do. Or you can also spend gold to do the same thing, but I have zero gold here, so I can't even do that. This research might also happen automatically if you've indicated you wanted to start researching something, so after you finish a game, you might still have zero research points according to your balance, but your tech will have advanced slightly to progress to unlocking it. So don't worry if it feels like you've got nothing for it, just go back and check the tech that you were researching, and see if your progress has gone up. If I switch to the German tree now, upon spending your research points, or just by grinding it, your tech tree box will suddenly be shaded in green, at least slightly, to visually show your progress and how close you are. As per this Jagdpack, are here. And so will the bar above the accelerated research thing down in the bottom left to show in numbers how close you are. You can even swap research here again. In your numbers, your progression won't actually change. For example, if I decide to research the VG2 instead, which I haven't done, I could go back and check my Jagdpanzer and you can see 
that while it might not be green anymore, but I've still got a number of it's researched, and that will remain forever until you decide to go back and then, you know, restart researching it. So you can always go back to researching where you left off. After you have researched something entirely, the whole box turns green. And if you click on it, you can also see that you will be rewarded with some silver and the reward available, which is a weapon, for unlocking it. Once you click take reward, you will then use that silver to get one version of the weapon. Basically, this means you get one version of a new weapon you just unlocked for free. For vehicles, it works slightly differently, but it's still more or less the same. So you don't actually keep any of the silver, you just spend it on that weapon, but you got the silver for free. So in theory, it's a free weapon. And silver is the other type of currency in the game, the main one. You can also get extra silver for participating in battles, just like how you do with more research points. And silver is the new unified currency also listed at the top here, which allows you to buy more of the tech you've already unlocked, and also to upgrade any of the weapons you have already unlocked in your squad tab. The price of buying more is listed on the tech you have already unlocked, in the same place as the research points would have been if you hadn't researched it. For those wondering how prices and getting this silver actually matches up and how easy it is, it currently seems to be that people have calculated that about 9 experience from battles is about 1 silver. Though, as I said before, these numbers have a good chance of changing before the merge happens. Hence why I'm not really talking about specific numbers like the exact cost of this MP40 over here, because realistically it could change by the time the merge actually happens to the main game. The same with selling weapons or upgrading them. When the actual update occurs to the main game, we'll know for sure then, so this information could be outdated if I decide to go into all the different numbers and stats. We shall see. But now, what should you research? That choice is up to you completely. And this is the magic of the tech tree system, giving you complete free reign over what you want to use and grind for. In the future though, when the merge actually happens, I might do guides on exactly which things you should prioritize for each different nation, depending on the power level of each gear relative to each other. But for now, it doesn't really matter because things could still change. You can also see the lines between each different tech corresponding to what you need to get before the prerequisites before you can unlock certain weapons. For example, to unlock the Type 99 sniper rifle for Japan in Tier 2, and assuming I was a new player, I'd need to unlock the Type 38 rifle with grenade discharge at first before that, but before that I'd need the Type 99 rifle late, according to the extra lines here, and before that I'd need the Type 1 rifle, and before that the Arasaka Type 38 rifle, and then first, before all of that, I'd need the Arasaka Type 38 carbine. That's the first thing I could possibly get, and the first thing I should be researching if I really wanted to go for the Type 99 sniper rifle. So therefore, you might choose to plan your grind accordingly if you wanted something specific. Most tech though is in a straight line, so it's really easy to plan your grind accordingly, as per the SMGs, machine guns, heavy weapons, tanks, aircraft, and all of that. But snipers and rifles, as we just explained, sometimes interchange between their rows. So that's really the only one that gets a bit more difficult. The main important thing though, for making research decisions, you need to know is the tier system, right at the very top over here. My bars are full orange as I've basically already completed and unlocked everything in the game, or close to, and this also means I can go back to unlock anything that I've missed, for example this T70 down here, as I've already got the T50, T28 and everything after that, so it's really easy for me to just go back, click start research, and then just start researching whatever I want. But this is also so if the devs add anything to an earlier part of the tech tree that you've already unlocked later stuff for, for example the new lag 311 plane which has just been announced that's going to be added to the tech tree as per a recent dev blog, then as I already have the hurricane I can just go back and immediately start researching on the lag 3 if I wanted to, but I don't need to. I could just go ahead and keep going down the plane tree should I care about the IL-10, for example. But new players will have to do everything in order, as they won't naturally have things later unlocked in the tech tree. You will notice the numbers at the top right of the tier bar. For tier 1 Soviets, I've unlocked 18 out of 19 required tech, in order to progress to have the ability to unlock things in tier 2. So in theory, I only needed to unlock 9 things in this tier, which is basically anything underneath this whole bar, so anything from the end of this bar all the way down, including the T70 and Mosin M44L Premium Squad. This prevents people from being able to just grind one tree to max, and then suffer insanely hard when the battle rating system comes into the game, and they might have, say, the best rifles in each faction, but nothing else good because you didn't bother to grind for it. It's great because it will ensure your matches are more balanced for you, so you actually have more of a chance and makes the game more interesting, as well as entertaining for you. As just mentioned, you can also buy Premium Squads in any tier, and your number will go up, as in skipping one tech you need to go up a tier and start grinding stuff in a higher tier, which is a really nice feature for premium squads to have. So for example, I don't have the BA-11 tank, but if I bought it, my number would go to 19 out of 9. And then for tier 2, you'd only need 7 things unlocked here to be able to start unlocking stuff in tier 3. And for tier 3, you'd only need to unlock 6 stuff. And for tier 4, you only need to unlock an extra 6 stuff, and so on. But that should be everything that you need to know about how the tech tree will work in the new enlisted. If you have any questions, join our Discord server and post there to get answers from our 2800 strong community, or you can post a comment down below and I'll get back to you. But you can even ask me over on my Twitch streams, which have been popping off recently, so thank you all so much for
for your support. I'll create other videos and tutorials on all the new updates to the game soon, but the most important stuff, like for example the whole new perk system, which is super awesome but slightly complicated, so subscribe so you don't miss that video.